Hello everyone, Now Labs here. Today we're going to be learning how we can set the seed in Godot. As you can see over here, I have the seed set of this uh, game. And every time I click R, even though you can't see, but every time I click R, it, it's always setting the same seed. And if I just go over here really quick, um, get rid of the seed name. And as you can see, and now I'm just getting random numbers, sorry, random numbers that are setting the seed. And if I go over here and I set this thing to like, hello, um, you can see that I'm always getting the same seed. I can show you how to do this. It's really quick and I just discovered it like literally um, I want to say like five minutes ago. So here we go. As you can see, I have a very simple scene setup. I have my uh, main scene. I have my two like children. I'm going to go over here to the first uh, script and I'm going to show that over here, even though I'm calling randomize, it was still using the same seed. And I just have a very simple function here that lets me restart the scene. If I click the, the R key, uh, just a different way to do it. I usually do it in um, by setting an action, but whatever. And over here we have a spawner. Um, uh, for this script it's just a simple node and it just it basically says that we're going to be spawning a thing and the thing is just a, a node 2d with a sprite uh, you can make this an enemy a player something whatever you want like a building in your map but i just have a generic thing object it uh, doesn't really matter so i adding i'm adding it to the scene tree i'm actually adding it underneath the spawner and then i i'm just setting the position to some random range and then uh last but not least we have the rng setter which is its own scene doesn't have to be but whatever and over here we have a very simple script which helps us set the seed. So I'm going to break it down uh, step by step. So we're going to first start off by getting the seed name or like what is the name of our seed that's going to be used. Uh, if it's going to be something specific like hi, hello, whatever, or what your name, uh, that's where it would go. Usually people like to put names or like numbers, even numbers would work. It doesn't matter, but it's a string. Uh, so we can literally put uh, any character in here. Then in the ready function, we're just going to be telling uh, Godot that we want to make a variable called seed to use. And this is going to help us determine if... Uh, and we're basically going to be using this to help us uh, pick the seed. We're going to do a very simple comparison. Uh, if the seed to name is true, so if it's uh, if it's like uh, if it's not equal to uh, empty string, right? If seed to name is not equal to an empty string, is basically what I'm saying. If it's if it's something, if seed is like I don't know, hello, uh, execute this line, and it's basically telling us to set the seed to use over here uh, equal to a hash of the seed name. So. Uh, what does that mean? It basically, if you go over here to the documentation, hash returns the integer of this uh, variable. So literally, uh, if you type in um, something like this, it will give you the number version of that. Uh, you don't have to know how it works. You just have to know that you can use it. And it's very powerful that you don't have to put this in uh, yourself. And over here, if the C to name is equal, if the C to name is false, or if it's actually equal to um, an empty string, we're going to go C to you, and we're just going to send it to a random integer. That's what rand i means. It just sends it sets it to, it just uh, gets a random 32-bit integer. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use. You could also use rand float, but I use rand integer or rand i. And then we're going to be setting the seed of the actual Godot run, random number generator. We're going to set that uh, equal to um, the seed to use. So if you really want to, you can also do a uh, uh, seed to use. And uh, let me just make this a very small tip. Uh, seed to use is equal to hash seed name. If seed name exists else, you can do this. Uh, this also does the exact same thing. Oops. Uh, else, this does the exact same thing as uh, the if statement, but this is just a ternary operator. So it's basically saying set this uh, variable equal to hash seed name if the seed name exists. Otherwise, set it to a random integer. Uh, another way you can think about it is if the seed name exists, set seed to use equal to hash seed name. Else, send it to random integer. Basically, we're doing the exact same thing as the if statement. Uh, Sorry to get a little sidetracked from the topic of the tutorial, but I find this is pretty interesting, but I'm going to leave it like this. And then we're going to set print seed to use. Is the seed being used? Did I spell seed right? Yeah, okay. Uh, and you can see that we're getting random seeds. Like these are the uh, random seeds. And the reason why it's getting random seeds, like uh, it's going over here to rand i, is because over here in our main scene, the RNG setter doesn't have a name yet. But if we set the name to something and rerun the scene, uh, you can see that we are always going to be getting the exact same seed and it's going to be constant every time. And I can even show this... Uh, uh, being used in a project that I'm working on right now. Yes, I was using Notepad. I'm very sorry to admit that. But let's say hopefully this thing goes on Steam, right? If this is, you can see that I'm generating the random seed and I'm using the exact same thing that I just showcased. Um, and if I go over here and type in like something like this, you can see I'm always getting the exact same one. But if I go over here and type in like NAD Labs, uh, if, I, if I leave it blank, you can see it's uh, being set. It's just uh, generating random uh, environments, but if I go back to Seeds in Godot, which is the project that I will, will be posting on GitHub, if I put my RNG setter below the spawner, it won't work anymore. You can see that the seed is being set, but I'm not getting the the random like I'm not getting the 
like this is the seed being set, but I'm getting random stuff each time. Why? Because Godot executes from top to bottom. So seeds in Godot starts, um, and then it goes to spawner and says, okay, do your thing. It does its thing. With the rand eye, by the way, this is on a random seed. And then RNG setter comes in and is like, okay, yeah, I set the seed. And then the seed's in, like, then the seed is continuing normally. But it already happened. We already set the ready function. So you just want to make sure this is at the top or maybe even it, at the beginning of your game. Like if you go to like the title screen, right? Uh, if you go to the title screen, uh, you can also just set the seed there or in before the game, the game starts and asks. Uh, I don't know why I typed title screen. But before the game starts, usually they ask like, hey, do you want to set the seed like in Minecraft or Terraria? Yeah, Terraria does that. Um, they ask, do you want to set the seed? And that's because they have to do this first before they generate random stuff. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. And that's about it. Just in case you didn't believe me, I'm using the exact same thing that I showcased in the video. You don't need this. Um, sorry, that's a, a lie. But uh, now I'm using the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, it's the it's the exact same thing I showcased. And uh, yeah, this will be on GitHub if you want or GitHub. It doesn't matter how you say it. But yeah, there you go. So how you can set the seed of your game and generate random things based on a seed so next time if sometime someone types in their name uh they can uh literally get the same thing result they can get the same result and just to double check and confirm i'm going to close godot i'm going to reopen godot on um, version on a different version actually um i don't know if this is tested this is actually untested will it give me the exact same seed name okay that's that's what it looks like and if i go to a different version of godot real quick let's see Different version of Godot. Oh, wow. Okay, so two different versions of Godot give me the exact same thing. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so it works on different versions of Godot. So yeah, uh, that was untested. I'm doing this middle of the tutorial. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. Have an amazing day.